Are you trying to grow your YouTube channel and gain more engagement and viewers and followers? Well, I got the tool for you. It's called TubeBuddy. I'm Jordan from GSD Solutions and we're tech advisement specialists for small and medium sized businesses. And if you are a content creator that uses YouTube, you definitely want to stay tuned on all the features of TubeBuddy as well as a detailed tutorial. And we talk about the comparisons for a free account versus a paid account. A paid account is very reasonably priced and it's less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month. So super easy to use, super affordable. So let's dive into that tutorial so you can learn how to grow your YouTube channel. Let's dive into this TubeBuddy tutorial. So first up, TubeBuddy, what it does is it helps you grow your channel by giving you specific uh, recommendations on keywords, comparing it to channel analytics, channel analytics from other people's channels, and just makes you feel more confident as a creator. Now, let's see how it works. So first, what you would do is create an account after you create an account, you want to go ahead and download the Google Chrome TubeBuddy plugin. I've linked that down below in the captions. So second up, now, once you have the plugin downloaded, you will then activate it on your browser. And when you go to another person's YouTube channel, right, what you will see is these new little buttons. So up top, you'll see this little one that says TB, and then you also see TB Channelytics. So when you click Channelytics, it'll show you the lifetime views, the most recent views, how many videos a person has, how many um, videos you have. So it's like comparing your two channels essentially. And it'll also show you all the keywords that channel uses and you can copy those keywords if you need to use them, right? Be fair, make, make it make sense for you, of course, but then you could compare your views. So I'm compa currently comparing my personal channel to my business channel. And the red line is my business page. And as you can see, the blue line, so in the last 30 days, my, my personal page has gotten more views than my business page. And then we could check the subscribers, like how which page has grown most in subscribers, and then the amount of videos um, comparison. So this is a great way to compare your page to another page. The next thing you want to do is let's say we click on a video. If you are on a video, it'll show you the SEO. So it takes a second to load. It's going to be here in the right corner. Awesome. So now it's loaded and you see the amount of total views, the comments, likes, as well as the SEO score. Is it shared on Facebook and just other ranking items? And again, you see the keywords here that you can copy if you have a similar or a same video. So here's an example of not so good of an SEO score and it tells you what's wrong, right? If you hover over it, there's not enough tags in the title and description, um, not enough tags in the description, total characters in the description, title of the word. So there are various areas that it uses for those video analytics. Uh, now we're gonna go into the back end. So let's say I'm on my own channel and I want to update a video that I've already created. So this is all on the free plan. So might I add, at the second half of this video, I will be explaining what you get with a paid plan. So my, I have one account that's paid, one account that's free. So you, you're getting a lot on the free plan. Next up, you have the title generator um, that could help you with the inside of the free plan. And it gives you this entire toolbox. So you'll see this little TB when you go into the back end to edit your video. Um, so it'll show you all the tool options that you have. So it gives you a title generator. If you scroll down, it'll let you um, see what additional things you could do, some best practices. If you have the paid account, which we'll see in just a second, it'll show you a full seven paid practices. And then you could add chapters. Um, you know, it'll analyze your thumbnail to see if it's good or not. And then here, when you click more, it'll show you what tags are currently being used on that video and it'll give you some suggested tags. So the paid account obviously will give you more tags. And so let's take a look at what it is on the back end of the paid account. So here is um, my business page and we have a paid TubeBuddy account here. So if you're on your own profile, it'll just show you your own views, but let's go into the back end. So let's go with that same video that I showed earlier that had you know a really not so good um, SEO score. So if we see here, the SEO score is 45. And then from here, I could simply go to edit video and it'll bring me into my own back end on my YouTube page. So give it a second to load up and then it'll give me the, again, the same thing. So with this, this is the paid version now, and it gives me the full list of activities that I could do to upgrade my video to make it more um, SEO friendly. So I'm going to so I could add chapters, change the title, add to a playlist. I'm going to add to a playlist. So this is about virtual events. So I'm going to add it to that playlist. Then I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, add it some tags. So after you've added your tags, as a reminder, you get up to um, 500 characters. I know YouTube says tags play a minimal um, role, but for my channel and a few of my colleagues that I've helped, 
it has been making a difference. So definitely put tags down here. Make sure your um, your description area is very robust with keywords and additional information. So we get super detailed in that keywords area. And it's, I could use, uh, I could update the, 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 what is it called? The title. So I'm going to do that. Um, how to use in leads if, or so I'm going to change the two minutes part. So that puts it into the bracket. So I'm just going to go ahead and save. Now I'm going to recheck. So if you remember the original score was like 45 with the SEO and I could add chapters. Um, but actually I'm just going to add the info card. So info card is where you can add additional details to your video. So I'm just going to put here because it is in relation to this topic and boom. So now we've added, so we're going to recheck all again. And the only thing it wants me to do is add chapters, which I'll do at a later time. And as well as it's a very short video, we may not need chapters. So now let's go back to YouTube and take a look at the new SEO score of this video. Since we've updated the suggestions that TubeBuddy had told us to update. We were previously at 45. Now we're at 70. There's still a few more things it wants us to do. And as the video goes up in rankings, right, as more people view it, right, it has a very small amount of views, but that's okay. Um, with time and interest, more views will come. But you see that I've significantly increased the score from 45 to 70. Uh, we try to get our videos up to like a 95 SEO score uh, just to try to do make it do well. But that is TubeBuddy. So it's a very easy to use tool and it makes a huge difference on your YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and like this video as well as subscribe to our channel. We're tech advisors supporting small to medium sized business owners and content creators. If you need additional help, head on over to our website, gsdsolutionsinc.com and schedule a consultation today.